Some scientists believe that Stone Age humans suffered a genetic bottleneck between 50,000 and 100,000 years ago. From a global population of hundreds of thousands, the human race may have been sustained by a small group of only a few thousand people. Until recently, Evidence of a catastrophic natural disaster that could have decimated the numbers of our Stone Age ancestors lay hidden in the frozen ice fields of Greenland. Tiny air bubbles are preserved in the Arctic ice. They hold detailed scientific information about the climate from when the water froze. Global temperatures can be estimated from the thickness of the ice layers. Aerosol and dust particles hold information about natural events from that time. Scientists can date all this information. A new sheet of ice is deposited each year, so the annual records pile up one on top of another, like pancakes in a diner. The individual layers are identified from ice cores, long cylinders of ice from below the frozen surface in Greenland that carry thousands of years of environmental data. Professor Greg Zielinski of the University of Maine is a leading expert on the study of the ice core record. In 1993, he made a stunning discovery in this environmental time machine. As I was investigating the record of the sulfuric acid in the ice core, I noticed about 75,000 years ago that was this very large spike or really very high concentration of sulfate. To have something that big was just so exciting that I wanted to investigate it more. Zelinsky had discovered the highest annual acid reading in the entire 110,000 year record of the Greenland ice core, which points towards a cataclysmic natural disaster. This large amount of sulfuric acid really only has one potential source, and that would be an extremely large, massive volcanic eruption. The unprecedented acid discovery in the ice core came from a huge volcano. Major eruptions blast out enormous amounts of gases, including sulfates which turn into sulfuric acid in the atmosphere. The largest acid cloud of the 20th century came from the 1991 eruption at Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, which ejected 20 million tons of sulfur dioxide. Acid in the ice core suggests that 75,000 years earlier, an eruption 100 times greater than Mount Pinatubo blasted the Earth. Most active volcanoes lie at the boundaries between the vast tectonic plates that make up the Earth's surface. Which of these seismic hotspots could have generated the record ice core acid reading 75,000 years ago? Could it be Vesuvius, which buried Pompeii and Herculaneum in a sea of hot ash when it erupted in 79 AD? or Krakatoa, which is said to have generated the largest sound in human history when it erupted in 1883. Or maybe Mount St. Helens, the United States' deadliest volcano, which killed 57 people in 1980. But none of these notorious danger points shows any evidence of volcanic activity on this scale. The most powerful super eruption of the last two million years happened in Southeast Asia on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Lake Toba is an enormous body of water, 60 miles long by 20 miles wide. In 1929, Dutch geologist Van Bemelen identified this location as a vast caldera. The hole left behind after a massive volcano eruption blasts material into the atmosphere. In 
Much of this huge crater was formed following a super eruption 75,000 years ago, in line with the timing of the record acid discovery in the ice core. This eruption, three times bigger than the last major event at the Yellowstone supervolcano, could be the colossal natural disaster which threatened the future of our kind. The dramatic power of this volcano comes from the chemistry of the rocks deep beneath the surface of the lake. Sumatra lies close to the boundary where the Indo-Australian tectonic plate pushes beneath the Eurasian plate at a rate of about two inches per year. The lower plate releases water, causing rock in the plate above it to melt and then rise as low-density magma. At surface level, this melted volcanic rock becomes lava, but it is the potential of magma trapped below ground to hold in gases that creates the explosive power of a volcano. Dr. David Wark of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in New York State studies the composition of the magma to understand why the Toba eruption 75,000 years ago was so powerful. He describes the buildup of the liquid rock in the magma chamber as being like filling a bottle with a carbonated drink. Like magmas, uh, the soda has dissolved bubbles inside of it, dissolved gases. You can see the gases trying to work their way out there. With bottles of soda, carbon dioxide can move easily through the drink and escape. This is like low viscosity magma found at volcanoes such as Kilauea in Hawaii where gases bubble up through the liquid rock and lava ebbs out slowly at the surface. But in most explosive eruptions, a very sticky form of magma holds in the gases. So the bubbles are trapped and when they go, they go explosively. <laughs> like dynamite. The high viscosity or stickier magma at explosive volcanoes like Sufri or Hills in the Caribbean holds in the gas until it escapes in wild eruptions. Magma can expand by up to 600 times during an eruption if enough gas is trapped in the high viscosity melted rock. This is what gives the volcano its explosive power. Warp tests magma from the 75,000 year old eruption along with a control sample from a nearby Sumatran volcano to demonstrate why the Toba event must have been so violent. At 1300 degrees centigrade or more than 2000 degrees Fahrenheit the control sample melts. Even to the naked eye, the sample from the Toba magma is much more viscous, able to hold in more explosive volcanic gases than the control sample. A powerful microscope highlights holes in the melted Toba material. These are the spaces left behind after the huge volume of gases escaped during the super eruption. It's the bubbles that are trapped, and they're trapped because of the high viscosity that makes the eruption so explosive. 75,000 years ago, thousands of cubic miles of magma collected under the Sumatran landscape, creating overwhelming pressure on the surface. Two hundred cubic miles of ash blast out from Toba, covering an area more than ten times the size of California. Over two billion tons of sulfuric acid explode into the atmosphere. This is the biggest eruption modern man has ever experienced. But how could one volcano drive the human race across the face of the planet to the brink of extinction.